A call that no parent wants to hear. Your child has been taken to a hospital. 18 students at Venice Stewart Elementary School and their teacher needed medical assistance after a dry ice experiment. News 2's Kenley Hargett joins us now. And Kenley, a parent says he was left in the dark about what hospital his son was taken to. Yes, Haley, after learning about the accident, the father says he called the school to ask what hospital his son was at. At first, he says the district didn't know, but later they told him he was also was not given any details of how the experiment made the kids sick. The students were either taken to TriStar Hendersonville Medical Center or Sumner County Regional Medical Center. His son told him that the class had to smell fumes from the dry ice experiment and that because he wouldn't drink or inhale the fumes, he wasn't as sick. Fire officials are still working to learn why the experiment made the kids sick. The district will then determine whether to stop the project for good. The parent I talked to wants better communication from his son's school. Zero information. I got a little bit of information. The most information I have gotten at this point is out of a nine year old that is not feeling well. Not out of a doctor, not out of a representative from the school, nothing. Um, all I was told over the phone is that um, these scientists have been doing these, these programs for 20 plus years. All 18 students and teachers are expected to be okay, according to Sumner County Schools. Bob Haley.